Hello guys, this is your weekly tarot reading for Leos for February 24th to March 1st. So I would like you to subscribe and like if you like the video. And I have prepared the set already. I have shuffled the cards. I have uh, meditated on the cards and I have put crystals on them so that they are getting into the right energy. So now I shortly show you the pictures of the whole spread, how they look. Now that you've seen what your spread looks like, I want to start telling you what it said. So, in your past, we have the Devil and the Nine of Cups. So, the Nine of Cups is the clarifier of the Devil. The Devil is talking about abuse of power, meeting your own shadow or meeting the shadow of others greed, envy, addiction, materialism or obsession. So all of this can occur in your life in the past because it was coming up in the past. Um, it is also saying that you move on from any attachment that you had in the past um, and that you start living your life's higher purpose. It also talks about investigating your shadows inside yourself and then um, after that introspection and self-reflection, you can replace all the doubt and criticism that you find in yourself with more faith into the future and with more confidence. The Nine of Cups, the clarifier, is actually standing for good health, for uh, material abundance, for wishes coming true. And it is also an encouragement for that reframing process that I just told you. So how can you turn an obstacle into something positive? Just reframe for a moment. Yeah, you won't lose anything but a little bit of time. If you think about what good is coming with something that is supposedly bad, let's say you lost your job which is on the first look very negative because you lose your financial stability. But what is it giving you? It gives you more time to think about, to introspect, to look at your life and reassess, is it still the right life for me? So the devil and the nine of cups is telling you, find the good inside the bad. And this is valid for your past. In your present, I have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So, what does this say? The Knight of Wands stands for creativity, a free-spirited attitude, you work on your goals, you're feeling confident about it. And the Six of Pentacles is talking about generosity, giving or receiving help. Um, either you're helping someone, maybe giving advice, um, or somebody is coming in to help you when you need it most. So this is a very good combination for your present. In your challenge, we have the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. <laughs> and it's interesting that on both pictures, you see somebody running around with a wand. But the good thing about this card is on that wand, you see little green parts that are growing out of the wand. So this is a card of, of growth, of actually something good coming. Um, the Page of Cups is talking about studying a new love, uh, volunteer work. You might start a new hobby. A friend just called me today. She's 40 years old now and she said, I just started to do acting. Here is my new video. <laughs> so. It's never too late to start a new endeavor, right? And this card is saying you are actually totally on the go. You can do it, yeah? This card is saying, yes, go for it, yeah? If you have a new idea, let's say you want to go to a language course or whatever you want to do, this card says, yes, please do it. It's going to be fruitful. So also the page of wands is talking about new projects, about creative ideas and activities. All the wands are really about activity. Um, so this is a clarifier. The universe is saying go. Yeah. And this was in your challenge. 
So when this is in your challenge, then you might doubt a little. You might go like, hmm, should I really do this? I'm not sure yet if I can do it. But I can promise you, if you are asking yourself if you're not sure that you can do it, and then you go do it, you actually receive a breakthrough. Yeah, that's when you learn most. So think about what do I actually have to lose if I try? Yeah, and if it's not much, then go for it. Um, in your advice, we have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is someone, uh, he's like Prince Charming, you know, typical Prince Charming coming saying, uh, would you like to marry me? It could be about proposals and stuff. But this woman here, she doesn't look so happy to me. Um, all her cups have fallen and are spilled and she looks very like, mm, I don't want to go out into the world anymore. I feel hurt and, and abandoned and left out in the cold. So I would say, if these two cards are falling for your advice, then this means if you're not happy with your relationship right now, yeah, no matter what kind of relationship, if it's a friendship or a love relationship, you should investigate and you should consider to end it if you are really unhappy and you don't feel loved and nurtured. Yeah, because that's what we're having relationships for. They're here to, so that we receive and give love and nurturing. And if this is missing, if there is a lack, if you feel, really feel abandoned and left out in the cold, like the woman on this card here, then you should consider ending it. Now, yeah? um, of course, when we are thinking about ending a relationship, the fear of loss is arising. But in my personal experience, I think that we do experience loss and the feeling of lack as long as we are in, the, in this physical presence, yeah, in this experience of having a human body. But on a universal level, there is no loss because everything is one. So how can there be lost or loss if everything is, is one in the first place, you know? How can you lose your child or your partner if you on a universal level are one anyways? Yeah, it's impossible. And I have experienced that it's, it's always been one and it will always be one. So everything is coming out of one consciousness. So there cannot be any loss, even though here in this human experience, we sometimes feel loss and lack. Yeah? So you might sit down and meditate a little bit on that. Um, and for the outcome, you got Death and King of Pentacles. This is actually good because Death means that you are ready for the transformation, whatever transformation it is. Yeah, if you end the old job or your old job is being ended. <laughs> Um, if you end your relationship or it's being ended by the other person, it doesn't matter because you shed your old skin in order for something new and better to show up. And that it's going to be new and better is shown by this card. Yeah. So you can, by this transformation, by this ending, which is seemingly or supposedly a loss, you can actually profit from it really good because something new and better is going to start. So this card in the outcome, the death card, is actually something really, really positive. And the king of pentacles, he is also talking about wise investments. You can see him, he is holding that coin up. Um, it's talking about mentorship sometimes. Yeah, this, this guy can, or this person, yeah, it doesn't have to be a guy. It can also be that you are this person, yeah, giving mentorship or advice to someone else. But the way I see it here, someone's coming in to actually tell you, look, this is what you're going to do and then you're going to succeed. Yeah, someone's coming in to help you. And we've seen that before, yeah, in the cards, that someone's definitely coming to help you if you need it or that you are the one helping someone in need. So I think this is a very, very good prediction for next week for Leos. Um, I am a Leo too, so <laughs> for me, um, I can also feel how you guys feel sometimes. <laughs> um, and now I want to give you a little bonus um, because I have prepared the angel cards and the money advice cards. So I will start with the financial advice card, okay? I'm gonna do a little bit of shuffling here. 
Please, Spirit, give me the information that the Leos need for next week, for the week from February 24th to March 1st, please. It's very appreciated here. We would be happy to receive that information. Thank you. So, the card we got is... <laughs> I'm telling my story the way I want to. So I am the person who is creating my story. I don't let others create my story. I don't let anyone tell me how I am, if I'm good or bad, or if I'm healthy or sick. I am telling the story and I am creating the story of my life. This is a very, very empowering card. So it's in German, but I'm gonna read it and translate it for you, okay? Think about the words that you tell about your life story. Tell the positive aspects. Tell people what good you found in seemingly or supposedly negative things. We have been talking about this. So this card fits exactly to what I told you. Reassess, reframe what happened in your life. Is it really all so bad? Isn't there something good inside of it too? And if so, can you find it? So I really think that cards fit, this card fits perfectly to what we have seen in the tarot reading. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this rose quartz off the angel cards, which are now, um, now ready because they have been energized with the rose quartz, right? And I'm gonna shuffle for you. Please, Spirit, give us an angel advice card for Leos for next week, the week of February 24th to March 1st. It's highly appreciated that you give us the right card with the right information for Leos for next week, please. And we have the two of thinking. So... I will translate for you again because it's in German. <laughs> Your angels have been seeing that you are actually not continuing to go forward. Um, you have several options that you could take and which you're thinking about, but somehow you can't seem to really make a choice. Ask your angels for a sign for which direction to go and then listen to your inner voice and your dreams because the angels, when, when they are asked, they will give you a sign. And deep in your heart, you will know what to do. So, Leos, I think this is an absolutely perfect reading and I hope that you have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful week ahead. And I'm saying goodbye.